the guarantee. Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. There is a guarantee in the Bible, and it is the following. Because Jesus has been raised from the dead, it guarantees that we will be raised from the dead. And there's a boatload of scriptures, and I wanted to highlight some of them for you today. Jesus tells his disciples in John 6, 40, For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Four verses later, Jesus says, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. Five chapters later, in the great text about the resurrection of Lazarus, Jesus was talking to Martha right before he raised Lazarus from the dead, and upon her protest that, you know, she knew that Jesus would raise us up at the last day, Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And then in John 14, 19, Jesus said this to his disciples, Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me. Because I live, you will also live. It's a guarantee. Because of what Jesus has done, we will be resurrected as well. Paul, This was not missed on the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 6, verse 5, when he says this. If we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Can it be any clearer than that? In Romans 4.23, he also said, but the words it was counted for him were not written for his sake alone, but for ours also. It will be counted to us who believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. And then in Romans 6, 3, do you not know that all of us who've been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we, too, might walk in newness of life. There it is again. And then in Romans 8, 11, If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. How awesome is that? And then in the glorious resurrection passage of 1 Corinthians 15, we find in 1 Corinthians 15, 23, but each in his own order, Christ, the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. There it is again. And then Peter says in 1 Peter 1, 3, in such a succinct way, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. There it is. He has caused through the resurrection. I just love it. And then we see in Luke 24, 45 and 46 and 47, when he said, then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. The plan was perfect and the mission was accomplished. Jesus has risen from the dead and guaranteed our 
resurrection. Praise God! Thanks for watching. Bible on the go with Dr. Dan. If you like this video, hit that button called subscribe and look below each video on our channel and you'll find our merch, hoodies and tote bags and coffee cups. Thanks for watching. Praise God.